Hello, my name is Alexander, and this is my project on Einstein tile generation. I made this project during my internship at Google Research. The original goal of this project was to make a new type of QR code using this Einstein tile pattern. So I made a program that's able to generate the Einstein tile pattern. What the Einstein tile pattern is, is it's a pattern that goes on for infinity. It's aperiodic, which means it never repeats. And each one of the smaller tiles are called hat tiles. And the entire pattern is made up of meta tiles. And each of these meta tiles is made up of smaller hat tiles. These are the four meta tiles and the entire pattern is made up, made up of each of these meta tiles. And with every generation, each meta tile becomes more and more detailed. And the, basic shape of every generation is the same, but each of the meta tiles is becoming more and more detailed, thus the entire pattern becomes more and more detailed or larger. So how the code works is first it uses a set of rules which basically state how each of the tiles needs to be connected together to construct each of the meta tiles for the specific generation. As you can see on the left are the rules and then on the right is how it creates the meta tiles using the rules. And then it creates the entire shape using this code on the screen, which just connects all of these larger meta tiles together. And this is my program actually working. So as you can see, it goes through the generations, expanding each layer every single time. The pattern does have some of the properties of a fractal. And originally, the goal of the project was to use this pattern that never repeats to make an infinite number of QR codes. And to do this, you'd have a program where you give it a seed, and it gives you back a completely unique image for that seed. And originally, we thought that what this pattern never repeating meant was that you could zoom into a small part of the pattern, and that part would always be unique from any other place that you zoomed into. But we noticed that when we generated the pattern, there were parts of the pattern that looked exactly the same. And obviously, if you zoomed into a small part, it wasn't going to be completely unique because there were other parts of the pattern that looked exactly the same. And this was due to the fact that this pattern never repeating didn't mean that you could zoom into a small part. It meant that it was an aperiodic pattern, which means if you take the entire pattern and move it on top of itself, it will only line up back with itself in the center. Unfortunately, this meant that we couldn't continue the project, um, but I did learn a lot from this experience. And this will, is the first Python program for generating Einstein tiles. So it's a first of its kind. So feel free to use this for any of your applications of the Einstein tile pattern. Um, this code, code was based on a paper from the University of Waterloo, which I will put a link to that paper in the description. And I'll also put a link to my GitHub project where there's more detail about how it works and also all the code is in there. And thank you for watching.